to find out more about John Cecil's life as a silk weaver, then has come to the Guildhall in the city of London. Mr. Goodman, I presume. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's here to meet the clerk of the Chamberlain's Court, Murray Craig. Well, I've found out that one of my ancestors, John Cecil, was a weaver. And I had no idea that weaving went on in London particularly, especially in Bethnal Green. So I'm hoping you can shed a little bit of light, maybe on John Cecil and the Guild of Weavers. Well, you've certainly come to the right place, Len, because we've been able to delve into our archives and our records and discover a couple of interesting things about, about John Cecil. Um, now, what would happen is uh, John would have got the freedom of the Weavers' Company and then he would come across to Guildhall to receive the freedom of the city. Uh, because, of course, if you wanted to carry out your trade or your craft in the City of London, you would have to be uh, a, a member of the Guild and a freeman of the city. Right. Uh, and here we have uh, the, the minute book of the Worshipful Company of Weavers uh, from the 1st of December 1818. And look, there, there here he is, is uh, John, John Cecil. Cecil of 153 Brick Lane, Bethnal Green, Weaver, son of Daniel Cecil of 40 St John Street, Bethnal Green, citizen and weaver, made free by... No, no. Oh, patrimony. Now, what now, is that? Now, that's very important because uh, he was actually made free by patrimony, which means that his father was a freeman of the city and a weaver. And, of course, in those days, the son would follow the father's trade or occupation. Right. Uh, it was in, Im imagined that the father would teach the son the skills and the mysteries of the ancient art of weaving. So why was it so important to become a freeman of the city? Well, the, the freedom, in essence, really, was the right to trade in the city. And um, potentially it was very lucrative because, of course, you were being given monopolistic trading rights uh, within the richest part of the kingdom, the right. city of London. Yeah. Uh, but you also had to guarantee standards of excellence and quality in the goods produced and the right. services provided. So uh, members of the baker's company wouldn't give you stale bread and the, yeah. the vintner's company wouldn't give you sour wine and the, the weavers wouldn't give you bits of cloth with holes in. So kept the cowboys out. Kept the <laughs> Victorian trading standards or yeah. quality control, yes. Right. Keeping the cowboys out. When John Cecil became a freeman of the city, and a member of the Guild of Weavers at the age of 21, he was joining what had been a respected and lucrative profession. The Worshipful Company of Weavers is the oldest guild in the city. It was established in 1155. The guilds were like early trade unions, set up to protect their members. It was a way of regulating working hours, conditions and wages. At Guildhall there would be a, a ceremony, an oath would be made, and the young weavers, uh, John included, would have said, I so declare. Yeah. Um, and at the ceremony, John would have received his, his copy of freedom, which looks like this. This is a parchment neatly rolled up, and this one is almost contemporaneous with, with John. They're exactly the same today. The, the, the freedom certificate has barely changed. The coat of arms of the city. We have the uh, seal of the chamber, which is faded. The name of the king, the date, mm. uh, and these key details. Right, so yes. Now, in all probability, it would have been kept uh, like this in a little pouch, as you can see, copy of Freedom, City of London. And the key thing, really, was it was portable. Yes. You would carry it about yeah. your person like a driving licence yeah. or a passport to yeah. prove your so, status as a freeman of the City so of London. So if you were in the city and yeah. somebody said, what, what's going yeah. on here? Prove that Old you're John would have got it yeah. out. And, here, here oh, here look it at this, yes. sunshine. So yes, yeah. yes. So, uh, you know, for somebody like John Cecil, who, who was plying his trade in Brick Lane, Bethnal Green, to come up here and to enter this most lavish room, it must have been the most nerve-wracking experience, oh, I would imagine. Uh, I, 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 I'm sure it would yeah. have been, yes, yes. Marvellous, eh? I can imagine there's John and his father, Daniel, you know, who's passed on all his knowledge to his son as a weaver. Up they've come from Brick Lane in the Bethnal Green, up into the city and into the Guild Hall and to become a freeman of the City of London. How proud he must have been, not only John but his dad, and what a thrill that all must have been. But what I would really like to find out, if it's possible, is how did John Cecil come from a 21-year-old with his future ahead of him and, you know, his heart soaring with excitement and to end up in absolute destitution, stuck in Bethnal Green, workhouse.